many U.S. communities, tragic incidences such as the death of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Brianna Taylor, and many others have made a huge impact on our community, our world, and our YMCA organization. They remind us of the ugliness of racism that in many ways infects our society more than the current global pandemic. We want you to know that the Y stands with the black community in solidarity and support. Racism of all types has plagued our community for so many years that it would be naive to think it would be easy or simple to address. It's also easy to say the right things when the spotlight is on us, yet much harder and more important to do the right things when the urgency of the moment has passed. As a YMCA organization focused on addressing the most critical needs of our community and dedicated to advancing diversity, equality, and inclusion for all, we must work harder to address how to undo racism at an individual, organizational, and societal level. As we embark on this journey together, we must do so with tremendous humility. Each January, our YMCA honors the history and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. at our inspirational breakfast and luncheon each and every year. Our theme for this event is stand for something to not only remember the legacy of Dr. King, but to inspire others to embrace and celebrate the timeless values Dr. King taught us. Dr. King believed that every human being deserves to be treated with respect and absolute dignity for no other reason than that they are human beings. The why has always been good with and for what is right. The why has been a champion for all people but it is time we do more. We need to demonstrate through our actions that we do stand for something, justice and equality, and not just on the January holiday of Martin Luther King Jr. One of the most important steps we can take now is to create more intentional, sustained actions that bring people of all race, religion, age, sex, and economic levels together as one. So over the next several weeks, with the help of our staff, our board, our community stakeholders, we will work to develop an internal and an external plan that allows us to both show our support and address the need for justice and equality for all. It is time we move beyond our comfort zones and we work together to find constructive ways for meaningful change. The wise mission is to empower all people, especially our young, to reach their highest potential in spirit, mind, and body. We will achieve this mission if we can remove and dismantle the barriers that limit access and opportunity, especially racism. I choose to be hopeful. I hope you will join us and support us in this journey. We will share information and progress as we make it. Together, we are stronger. And we will stand united. Thank you.